Hello and welcome back to my episode on the Catcraft server. Um, been a bit. I finished up mostly back to the base. I don't. I've. I kind of had to stop because I don't have any other, I guess, resources to put in the storage system. The left side's like all the way filled in, and then the right side is mostly right now just like farmable items and then some tools and stuff. I want to focus on getting another tunnel set up because. I don't have a way to the end, and that's kind of important. So my, my goals this episode are get my elytra uh, fully enchanted, have an enderman farm, and get like a path to the end. I think it's achievable. It doesn't seem too extravagant. So I'm going to start smelting up some cobblestone and my furnace. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to need are some books, which I hopefully should have in the back. Um, I still have all the tools from, like, the weaponsmith. What do you have? Oh, nothing. Um, books. Alright, do I have a deep book ready to go? I might have one. Um, not that one. Sorry. You know, it turns out you actually can't trade sure can I with this one. Pickaxe is still super low in there, but I'm gonna need to do the pump in now and try to stay here. But, let's see. Man, I'm gonna be like. Three levels off, okay. I need five levels, but I'm gonna have to rename it too. I can't just leave it as Elytra, it's fine. No, my anvil broke. Now that that's done, I think I should head back and start to gather some stuff for the uh, the nether tunnel to the in yeah in portal, as well as just to here. But I'm also gonna need to actually go to the end portal. I have written down. I have the coins down. But I need to go there first to make the tunnel to my home portal. And then I can make the actual tunnel. I guess I could do them together, but it'd be easier to just have the outline for what I need and then go back and make it look good because this tunnel right now gross. We cannot have that. We cannot have gross tunnels. Let's see how much stone are we going to do? Oh my gosh, scaffold when we go down. Oh. I have a bit of dark dark kelp. I should probably craft this up into dark kelp blocks and use them. We get the coordinates. And I'm gonna head out with some blocks to start another tunnel and I'll see you guys when I'm going. I may have gone a bit overboard on the resources that I needed, but I got some spruce wood, stone bricks, blue ice, that was a that was so fun to get some light glass, like gray glass, glowstone, and spruce stairs. And these two are empty. These are like some of my inventory smoker boxes. I'm gonna go put the extra ones away and then head out to the end, like end where the end portal is because that's where another, where is my, another tunnel is gonna be too. So I will need to go in the nether to make sure I have my personal be base spawn cords and then write those down and then we can go over because if I don't do that I'm just gonna get lost so do I not need to think and now for the second time now I'm equipped with the coordinates as well as the obsidian to make the portal and the flint seal light the portal I should have to go is this the right direction I guess it wasn't I guess it was southeast not southwest whoops do where I spawned in. 
once again, we are back to the hole. I think it's a bit up here again. Yep. And back down, this time, with the stuff to do the thing. The coordinates of my my home base in the nether are like negative 22, 49, and positive 21. And such as where I'll need to go in this nether with the tunnel. I think I should make it three blocks tall to start with. And then go back through and place the blue eyes. Because if I try placing the blue eyes as I'm going the first time, I might slip off or something. And I just, I just don't really feel like dying. It just doesn't seem like the best way to go about this. Okay, let's put the portal right here. Right before the wall. Hopefully I'm still efficient at these, because that'd be kind of bad. Shoot, misplaced. Good thing I have my actual pickaxe out. I will need to put my shulker boxes down in here, because I don't feel like it'd be safe to put them down in the nether, but I don't have any structures there to help it at all. So I'm just going to leave this stuff here. Start with the stone bricks. Let's see this stuff. And then I'll leave this in here and only bring my pickaxe. Light the portal. There's a torch there. There we go. Do these corners correctly. No, 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 no. Need the stone brick to do these portals correctly. Like that. And that. Cool. Let's go into the nether. So we've got to work with in here. That was a gas. That's supposed to scare me. Oh, I th that's a gas. Please, please no. Please, can, you, can you not though? Think about how cool it would be if you didn't do this. You know what? I'm gonna get my bow. Yeah, I can't do this without a bow. Mm -hmm. Okay. My current coordinates. I'm like really close. Okay, so the first coordinate is a negative 22. I only had it this way. The next coordinate is a positive 21, and then it is this direction. So I'm going to head northwest to get back to where I want to make sense. So I headed southeast to get here. So yeah, let us start making the tunnel.
now that the tunnel's all done, um, I need to go over and collect some, a lot of leaves basically, because for the Enderman farm, it takes a lot of leaves to make, not only make the bridge there, but the platform that they stand on is also made out of leaves, and I currently don't have any kind of stock of leaves at my base whatsoever. I don't even know if I have, I might not even have a chest for leaves, which is good because now I can add more stuff to the storage system, which is why I didn't have it fully filled out because I didn't know what else I would need. So that's something else I can add to it. Um, this room I haven't touched yet because this, the whole like tunnel like right now is just like basically four blocks, like four different blocks, but I want to make this room like an actual kind of design and I don't have the idea in my head of what I want it to fully be. So like once I figure out what exactly I want in here, I'll be able to build it, but I don't know that I can do that now because it just won't turn out to be the thing that I want it to be. So I'm going to start collecting materials for the Enderman farm. Should be too difficult. I think I have all the tools to collect the leaves and stuff. I just need to actually go and do that. So I'm going to go sort out my inventory a bit. And then just head out to collect the leaves because I don't... I can check, but I don't even think I have a leaf. Okay, I have almost everything I will, I need for the farm in this soaker box here. The only thing I need now is nine stacks of leaves and then a name tag. The name tag I'm going to get from it's at the my village trading hall because I can trade with I think the librarians. It's like their final trade and I can just trade for that. I'm going to go a bit out to collect these leaves because I don't, I don't want it to be too close to my base if I ever plan on expanding this far. I think this is good enough. So yeah, I'm just going to start collecting leaves now and I'll meet you guys over at the villager training hall when I get to that part. Okay, should have to just go one of the librarians, though I will need to rename it. Do I have? Okay, I still have an anvil here, that's good. I think they cost that much, but I don't remember the exact cost of it. I think, yeah, they're all, they should all somewhat be masters at this point in time. And then... Right. Should just have to go to the end now and start working on the farm. The farm's design, it's not my design. I didn't like come up with this design myself. I've done them a lot now, so I could probably somewhat do one from memory now. Oops, you went to the end. I went to the But it's a design by uh, Shultcraft. I'll leave the, the link to his video in the description, but he makes a lot of good tutorials about like a bunch of different Minecraft farms. I don't know if he does as much about like builds, but like there are so many different farms that he's done that I've like watched and looked through and then either put it in my survival worlds or just like looked at because it's it's a cool farm, but I don't have the, like time to do it myself because it's not something that I would need as much in the world because I'm not like I play a lot of Minecraft, but I'm not as much of a I guess progressor like once I complete a world like a friend or something I usually run out of things to do because at that point in time there's nothing else for us to do because we've if you the inner dragon got like an iron farm and a villager breeder going and we're kind of just like stack so we don't like do much else because we're not, we're not super into builds okay this should be the good uh, so down here is much to start placing blocks the die in the void, so be careful with that. And the reason that we're going down and out from the end island is to make sure that as few endermans uh, as possible are able to spawn to the point of having no enderman be able to spawn. Okay, and now up a bit so I can switch this out for leaves. Get over to the edge. And we got 128 blocks, which is even, even, even two stacks. Let's get this. And let's build out. Okay, from here, I'm going to build a 7x7 seven seven platform. Uh, I think this is where I'm attacking the Enderman, if I'm not mistaken. So three out this direction. Two, three out this direction. 
Then going seven back. Two, three, four, six, seven. Six, seven. Three. I can fill this in. I how to make an overflow system. Guess I could by doing something like this. Second line of hoppers leads out to a oh shoot. This is going to take like an hour to get back everything I just lost. So glad I was recording that because if I had not been recording that, I would have had no idea what stuff I had had. I was only able to get back my stuff because, I mean, <laughs> magma cubes go away. <laughs> because I have my villager trading hall and like actually access to levels, I was able to get back my enchantments. Oh, I'm gonna die. I forgot to get going. And it's at the good training hall. And then put infinity on my bow. Oh, I'll be back. I'll be back with actual stuff. <laughs> Let's try this again. This time with an actual infinity enchanted bow, not mending. It's dumb. I was working on a dropper. You know, this, this dispenser thing where I died. Okay, actually, kind of works. I think it can go into the side of it. I don't think it needs to go into the back of it. Then... Nope. Okay. I need to put a redstone output into this. That's basically what I'm doing. If I can get a redstone output to go into it. Why are you placing like that? Do that. Which way is that facing? Wrong way? Yep, the wrong. Mm. So I need to have it go into this block over here. And then have a block this side I can stand on. This should give the dropper a constant signal so that the drops that are overflowing. I just need to remove this. We need y'all Enderman to move real quick, because I gotta do some quick math. Okay. Let's have all the front ones lead to that one, all the back ones lead to this one. It's not a good system, like this won't... I don't know how to make an overflow system, but this is like the best I can do that will still make sense. And then I put non-spawnable blocks over here. Can you scooch for a second? Very much. Keep. Uh, there you go. Like that. Let's see what the next step is. Went ahead and finished the end of an XP farm off camera because it's kind of getting a bit stressful having to work on the void. And I was kind of just not really talking much, so it wasn't much of an actual interaction. I'm not sure as to like why the Endermen aren't getting that at the Endermite. May have changed 1.16. I hope not. Is it because it's still on the rail? It might be because it's still on the rail. But I'll fix any other issues that I find off camera. Yeah, they're supposed to just like come in and refill, so it's probably the fact that the rail is still there. Do I wish to this and break that fix it nope okay well i'll figure out my solution for this and what i did wrong maybe let's do the trunk border 
I, I don't know. I'll look in the comment section and see if there's anything else, but I'll make sure I link his video in the description because this is a, this is a great farm. I just gotta figure out what I did wrong because I know his farm would always work because I've used it like three times now. I'm really happy with what I got done today, and I think this is kind of a good spot to talk about. Like, I do enjoy recording CapCraft videos, but I just don't know if I can do them like two times a week because this is different from like Hypixel, whereas like Hypixel, I'm doing a task. It's like something that I know that I have to do for the day, like blogging or like a game of Bed Wars or Guess the Build. Like, I know what I'm supposed to be doing. Catcraft is more creative, like there's more personal what I want to do and how I'm going to build it. Like farms like these, I didn't design this, but I still had to build it. I still had to go out and get the materials and then go and try to build it and die once. But there's still an aspect of creativity to that, and I don't know if I can do that like two times a week. So that's why these videos are more sporadic and spread out than say like other last player or other YouTubers. Because I would just be able to do them back to back, and that's cool, but i not at a point in time where I can do that yet. So, I hope you guys understand why I can't do these constantly. And I hope you guys still enjoy watching. Uh, I hope you guys are staying safe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.